This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care. I'm going to discuss the importance of doing Barach laser and the importance of doing it immediately. Let us take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the retina. We have here a huge tear in the retina. As you can see, there's a reddish zone here, which is not the case throughout this portion. This is a normal retina. Whereas here, there has been a long tear. Under this area, fluid has started creeping in in these edges. So this is called subretinal fluid. If you allow this to be as it is and not treat it on time, this will become a retinal detachment. Fluid will get under the entire retina, lifting the retina, detaching the retina, and that will require a surgery. This patient came to us on time, within 24 hours of developing flashes of light. He had flashes of light, floaters in his vision, so he decided to come and we found that he has this tear. So what did we do about this tear? We did laser. Now, you can see here these white spots all over the retina. These are fresh laser marks. These are done for the patient and surrounding the area of the tear in many, many layers. If you do it in many layers, it completely blocks off the fluid. This subretinal fluid cannot extend under the retina and the retina is safe. What is important is you need to do it immediately. If you waste time, Fluid goes under the retina. Retinal detachment occurs. So this is one of the emergencies in retina. If you want to save your vision with a simple laser treatment, laser is not an operation. It's a very simple treatment of light. These are light burns on the retina. Eventually, they are black in color because it becomes a scar. So if you're scarring off that area, Fluid will not pass under that area. It is important to understand that sometimes more tears can up occur till the PVD is complete. PVD is a posterior vitreous detachment. So until the PVD is complete, your doctor needs to see you at frequent intervals. Once there is a complete PVD, your retina is safe. Just because you have lasered one area, it does not mean that another area will not develop a tear. So you need to keep a watch till the retina is safe. There are times when there is bleeding happening along with the tear. There can be a lot of blood inside the vitreous cavity. You will see blurred vision also. That does not necessarily mean it's a retinal detachment. It can happen because of the bleed. The bleeding invariably settles down, but this can become a detachment. Therefore, such bleeding has to be taken care of with surgery. If you have blood in the eye and you are suspecting a tear in the retina, it is safer to operate, remove that blood and settle this tear because the procedure is much simpler, prognosis is much better and vision can totally be recovered when surgery is done early in such cases.